The locomotion system developed by Rune Skarbo Johansson uses similar procedural animation to blend and adjust keyframe and motion captured animations at runtime to match any speed, direction, turning angle, and not least, any uneven terrain, including arbitrary steps and slopes. In comparison, animation without such adjustments has a tendency to appear floating and unreal when walking over steps and slopes. The, tr the traditional approach to avoid this has been to create additional animations specifically for walking on steps and slopes, but this increases the workload on the animators. The locomotion system keeps animators firmly in control of style and personality while keeping the amount of needed animations to a minimum. The locomotion system can be used with as few as two animations, one idle and one for walking but it can also support using more than that if desired. The human model here uses nine animations visualized here as small blue dots. The locomotion system continuously monitors the current velocity of the character and assigns blending weights to the individual animations based on that. When only few animations are available, the system can optionally make a forward walking animation double for backwards walking. We have a forward walking animation here, while this one is the same animations played back backwards. Even when no animations are available for walking sideways, the system can still uh, synthesize a sideways walking motion, even though it may not look completely natural. Many animals may not walk sideways in nature in the first place, but the ability to take steps in arbitrary directions is still highly useful for making sharp turns, since animals and humans alike have a tendency to take a few initial steps in the desired direction of movement before they have fully turned to face that direction. The locomotion system does not control the velocity, acceleration, or turning angle of the character. This is completely up to the game logic. Also note that the facing direction can be completely independent from the direction of movement if desired. The locomotion system makes very few assumptions in its model and works equally well for humans and animals. Just about anything will legs. The system has no special handling for different types of animals or different number of legs, but it is simply general enough to encompass them all.
The feet are continuously adjusted using inverse kinematics. The movements of the feet are based on prediction of where the feet will land on the ground. The prediction happens continuously based on the current velocity and rotational velocity of the character along with some raycasts onto the ground. The locomotion system also has a system for automating transitions between standing still and walking. The system automatically makes each foot start taking steps in turns until, until all the feet have entered the walk cycle. The same applies for stopping again. The system has an automated system for leaning the character in different directions based on velocity and uh, the slope of the ground. The character is seen leaning forward here when walking up a steep slope. When walking down, he leans slightly backwards to compensate. For characters with more horizontally aligned bodies, the system can make the alignment of the body match the slope, the steepness of the ground. The same applies when walking on steps of various heights. The locomotion system was developed by Rune Skopo Johansson and it is available for free when used with the Unity game engine.